What is going on, man? Roger will be cool, man. I'm y'all just don't know what I go through over here, man. It's just frustrating. It's starting to get on my nerves. But I'm just gonna try to hang in and hang out with y'all to talk about bases tonight. And tonight what we're gonna go with is the battle of the buckers. I had three bases here with uh three humbuckers, uh either one or two. Uh what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn down my man here, uh Larnell Lewis. And we're also waiting for the fight to start, which I can't get ESPN to work. I, I ordered ESPN Plus and all this stuff, paying twelve ninety nine. I can't even look at the fight. So I guess I'll look at it all week, look at anything else but the fight. It is what it is, right? How's your boy? I think they have me for opportunity to be able to see you guys tonight. And uh, I don't have long, man, because I'm ready to go and crash out and get a good night's sleep before 12 o'clock. All right? So, Larnell. Relax. I'll be playing drums with you later. In fact, we're going to turn them on now. Not that they're going to show up here, but I'll be able to hear them with my headphones. And, uh, yeah. Let's get started. So, the first bass I'm going to deal with, since it's right here plugged up, and I'll be adjusting the volume to make sure everything is kind of even and working, is the Music Man. Let me turn this off. I actually had the music man, well, I actually had the line running through a, um, a piece called the Mooger Radar, or the Moore, is it Moore? The Moore Radar, which emulates, uh, it's called the Impulse uh, Response Pedal. It kind of emulates other amplifiers, and you can, like, add EQ, you can add different preamps, power amps, all this stuff, and build your own amplifier within this little pedal called the moor and uh one day i'll i'll do a video on that but right now we're just gonna stick with the um <laughs> my man getting on the drums lionel lewis is getting on drums uh but right now we're gonna talk best i can without this thing sounding horrible let's see maybe i can get it to work let's kind of stay up let's see let's see, let's see. Uh, Maybe if I take off this neck neck joint I got on, maybe it'll help. Okay, because I never can figure out this mic. Y'all know I've been tussling and fussing with this mic ever since I bought it, man. And uh, just seeing it, never, I can just never get it right the way it should be right. All right, maybe it's sounding right now. So. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put all these in the middle. I'm not going to play with the EQ on these. Well, I just want to hear what bucker sounds best. And on the bass that I just picked up the streamer, we'll just pretty much deal with the bait, the uh, bucker that's back here by the bridge because the other, uh, the other bass that I had, the Fullerton, also has a bucker in his back by the bridge. So we won't use the uh, bucker up front when we do the streamer, all right? So basically, I'm just going to do a couple little finger things. And y'all just tell me which bucker you think sounds best, okay? So this is the Music Man Sterling Roasted Neck. Stingray 4, okay? And this is the Indonesian made piece, it's not the American made piece. And I was reading something today, uh, just to add a little note, that is talking about, yeah, uh, Music Man is kind of trying to be deceptive as to how they say, well, their bases are made in Indonesia, then they send here to be inspected, kind of trying to make people they think they actually have US parts in these, and they really don't. In fact, uh, what I just found out was, though they have a nice three band EQ here, um, that uh that pretty much the, the pickup is uh, a ceramic pickup as the but but the uh, actual usa music man pickup is a different pickup altogether so the pickup is definitely a different and puts out a lot more output because usually the ceramic outputs and anything that you put them in whether they any kind of a strat or anything like that gives out more output because there's less windings or something like that it don't sound as warm <laughs> All right, so what we're going to do is, is all the way up, we got the EQ in the middle, no EQ, and we're just going to listen to the bucker in the back. Here we go. Ride tune it right. I right, do the same thing with the pluck. All right, 
so this is no editing going on this is all live so next we're gonna go with the um gonna pour that out i'm gonna lay this on the floor because i don't have a stand for it and i don't want it dropping it fell twice already and i don't have enough stands around to do all three because then i wouldn't have a lot of room all right the next is going to be the streamer base by work i just picked this up last night it's such a beautiful base mm -hmm. look at this about the card body man the card body on this is like crazy and uh I'm going to put this, now there's two different things here. You have a passive and you have an active. That's passive and that's active. So I'm still going to put it in the middle and that's a blend. So I'm going to take the blend and put it on the back pickup. All right. And it's up. Okay. So pretty much it's right in the middle now. Since that bass is always active, and this bass is an active bass too, we're going to put it in active mode, and we're going to ride it from there. Okay, here we go, and the toggle switches are up in the middle as well. So no added boost, no less boost, whatever you would get from that. Here we go. <laughs> Okay, now let's do the thumb thing. Okay, so now that was the Warwick. The Warwick uh, streamer, and we was using the back pickup only on that one, okay? Now, as for the other bass, I'm not sure whether this has, it should have a, um, it should indeed have a, a, um, a blend pickup, but I'm not sure, so we're going to see when we plug it in. All I know is this bass is louder than all, bo both of these. And all these are active bases. And this base, the Fullerton base, made by a company called Area for the store Music 123. And the thing about it, I was waxing this tonight. I was waxing all the guitars and everything, hooking them up. And I looked at all the detail on the back of his neck. It had a little bit of bird's eye uh, maple on the back of his neck, it seems. And a front neck. I'm not sure whether this is, it's probably rosewood, some kind of rosewood. And this right here, once I shine this up, this wood, which kind of reminds you of a... Kind of wind you of a Warwick uh, Corvette a little bit. And definitely a little thumb here, like the thumb base I have over there. And then you have your active pickups. Now, again, I think these are, this is a blend knob. That's the most important thing. But I think these are the three EQs. And I'm not, I'm not sure whether there's a blend on this or not. Because there's no other, there's no push pulls. There's no other um, uh, uh, situations happening here. But I know when I use it, when I do use it, it kind of EQs itself when I touch it. Let's double check. So yeah, like this is the blend knob right here. It goes from the front. That's the front. And that's the back. Alright, so we're going to go with that. And since it's louder than... We're gonna turn it down a little bit. All right, so we're gonna take it back and blend it back to this uh, uh, bucker back here. This is a five string, so we'll we just be playing the four strings, to be fair. And then we got the EQ just in the mid, okay? So here we go. I'm sorry, I'm on the wrong note because I'm used to playing the four. Gotta change it up. Okay, 
So I was, it's so hard not trying to play this this E string. I mean this B string when you got the five string bass. All right, so now let's play it with the slap, and that's gonna be it. Here we go. have different sounds and this is the cheapest of the basses and the thing about me is I don't worry about setting up basses man I'll tell you I'll buy a bass however it is I'll, I'll deal with it unless like the strings are really really high or I can detect a warp in the neck or something like that or a bending in the neck and then I'll deal with it but I'm not one of them guys always gotta have my setup and intonation and all this stuff I just I'm just used to playing, so a lot of you guys who are out there that's used to that, you know, you intonate it and blah, 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 you take it to the shop, you get it set up, you get it cleaned, you get a sparkle. I don't do it. It is what it is, man. I just play it as I see it because it's all about making music. It's about, not about how good my guitar sounds for me as a recording engineer and an artist where some people perform every night. Yeah, they want the guitar to feel as good as possible. So when you're on stage, you can perform as well as possible and do their thing. So again, the preamp on this is hot. I mean, you can just hear how hot it is. And I don't have it all the way up. This is all the way up. While we still on this bass, let me move it up to the little pick up here, which kind of reminds me of how they did the wards. That's why I think this is really a, a copy of how the wards look, because they also have a bass the same way, knobs around here, four, just like the, uh, the uh, streamer, and then they have the little pick up here, but it's tilted. It was like a Jasmine 5, the one that I thought I had, and I ain't have a Jasmine 5, so now I took that one back, and I got the streamer instead. But the same thing as the Jasmine 5, you see... The humbuck is back here, and then it tilt it with this uh, pickup here up front, the neck pickup. So we're gonna turn to the neck pickup now. All right, here we go. Man, I gotta get my chops together, man. Y'all know I'm all over the place. I'm playing drums, I'm playing guitar, but it don't matter as long as I'm making a song, right? So that is that pickup. And then, like you said, when we go back here, you can hear the power kicking to this one. I think I might adjust this pickup, make it a little bit higher, or back this one down and make it a little bit lower. So they sound about even when I turn, when I do the blend thing. So you can hear the difference between the single to the bucker and put them in between, which is not a bad bass for a uh, hundred bucks at a pawn shop. And what I understand, they blew these basses out at like $69 a pop. In fact, somebody even mentioned they got one of these for $39 when they blew them out for music one, two, three. Who knows, man? Anyway, thank y'all for listening. Thank y'all for checking me out. And uh, I doubt if I get a chance to see this fight because I doubt it. That everything is not hooking up when it comes to ESPN. So either I'm going to find out about it tomorrow on YouTube as I normally do. Or maybe somehow ESPN to kick in. Sign up for it on the phone. Can't get it to work. Who knows? Whatever. I'm out, y'all. Talk to y'all later. Bam. Boom. Take care of yourself. And I'm out. Later.